Hi guys, welcome back to Sleepwalker's Relentless Night. Uh, this is going to be episode 19. And we're in... Um, we're in the trailer in Coastal Highway. We just got back from... We just made the connection. And uh, I'm trying to think of what to do. I need to get to Quonset, but... I have a whole lot of stink going on here. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to cook up some of this meat. And so it stinks a little bit less. And Lord knows I'm gonna eat it soon. There's no need to take it raw. Wow. At this point in the game, you kind of expect the fire to be a seamless activity, but not quite. And we'll run a couple of buffs to just get them going, just in case. Uh, pop in the reclaimed. This allow me just to do a little bit of maintenance. I, I had a lot of raw, actually. Okay. Um, so what was I going to do? Yeah, drop a little bit for maintenance. Um, drop these. Get them. Get them heated up. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And we've got the cooked already, so that's good. Let's find the cooked. Which ones? 960 and 364. Okay, and make a little bit just for the weight reduction. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can break one of these things down here. Now, the crowbar situation, I have a 100% crowbar. Okay, so we're good. I guess I'll break these down. And let's just do a 15 minute or just to replace that reclaimed. Could sleep here, but I feel like still have a fair bit of energy, 19 minutes. Let's do some breakdown. And we need to replenish our uh, torches for sure. Should make a little bit of water too, I think. How big is this piece? It's a big one. So it's gonna be another while. Okay. So let's see if we can get a couple of good to oh. There we go. So yeah, we're going to walk with a lot of food. I, I just feel like, you know, um, I do want to potentially try to kill a few wolves on the way. Oops. Nine minutes. So we get a little more in this. There we go. 41? Yeah, that'll do. All right, so yeah. Now the weight situation, 41, and we're going to carry a lot of a lot of meat on us, so it's going to be more. I'm just gonna, I did, I can't remember now if I searched over here. I think I did. I think I found out that it's disappointingly empty. Looks like it. Okay, it's one one arrow down, so it's beautiful weather, and it's a good time to get to Quonset. I'm gonna have to just brave it, you know. Like there's a lot of wolves on the way. They're gonna be after me. They're gonna be on my case. I'm in the hills, so it's it's hairy, you know. I I, I really don't like it. I just we're dealing for water. Okay, leader's perfect. Twelve minutes, so that's gonna work out. Let's eat this thing, get rid of it. And we're walking with four four kilos of meat. It's crazy, but Okay, let's do this. Start up our torch. Welcome to the extre extreme overweight. 
And we got a stink. Okay, so there's a wolf down here. Probably about to have an encounter with him. Trying to make visual contact before he may, he sees me. Okay. Yeah, it's these high parts here that are particularly hairy. Um, hoping that he can't get me up here. I don't actually know. Okay, that looks like a trap over there. I don't know if I can get out of that. Gotta go down. This is a bad place I'm in right now. Very bad. A lot of angles, a lot of uh, steepness. Not a lot that I can do to back up. There's a deer, okay. So I am gonna hunt this deer because food is such a big deal in this, this uh, mod that I need to. I should hunt the rabbits too, but come on, come on. One thing I'm not sure about, but interested to know, would be there it is. Would be um, is um, do meat bags. disappear when they go to complete zero quality. That's the question. Um, Oh my god, look at that. So we're making a little meat supply up here because we're going to come back to it and go after it later. Because because of the animal die off, it's like you really have to um, take advantage of the stuff when you find it. I don't think I'm going to bother with the rabbit. It's funny, I might actually have left some rabbits in the house or outside the house. I guess they, they despawn, but I think I was here before and I might have done that. 
That's two. Starting to weigh me down. Okay, that's not good. Um, I could sleep, I guess, here. Okay, I lost my fire there. Take a gamble here. Okay, that looks like it's going to turn. And the day's, a, day's getting a little bit uh, long. A little like. Now that looks like blizzardy. Um, hmm. But it's warm. I think I'm just going to go though. I think I'm just going to try to. Am I going to regret that? Might as well sleep. We have half health, half energy, and I'll let this burn out. Uh, let's um, let's do a leader. And I tell you what, I'm gonna go and uh, take that hide. I should probably be taking the rabbits too, but yeah. So we're gonna sleep here. So this is a place that's nice, but we definitely don't have the ability to sleep here um, because overnight because we can't light a fire inside. So, oh gee, I forgot to put my uh, episode timer on as usual. Classic. But I think we've been going about 15 minutes or so. So let's go ahead and take this, 30, 30 minutes. Okay, got cold, got really cold, wow. Oh, it's a blizzard. Wow. So who knows what happened to my... Um... Okay, it's all a kilo. Let's hope that it's warm in here. Need to find yeah, it is. To this cold. I've been here already, yeah. Um, I did the cloth in here. Oh, no. Okay, so... I think what we're going to do right away is just go ahead and sleep. eat this whole thing. We'll see what happened to my water out there. I hope it's hope it managed to finish, but so let's sleep for let's sleep for four hours. Oh double down blizzard. Let's sleep for another two hours. God, if they lock us in here. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's take a quick peek at our clothing. Oh, there's some, some wet stuff, eh? That's not ideal. I don't, I don't really know how that happened, but. Okay, it's getting late, so we, we kind of got to go. I'm nervous, guys. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to be have this night come. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful out. And what I'm going to count on is a wolf meat again down at the uh, the Quonset to get me through the night. That's my plan. Is to go on wolf meat. Slash, hey, maybe bear me. Non potable. To slow me down. And I don't have any of those uh, things, do I? No. Nope. Okay. So, note to self, I've got. Nine liters of um, nine nine kilograms of wonderful deer meat sitting waiting for me up there. 
And we're in combat mode now. We've got a couple hours, like, you know, probably 12 hours left in the day. And I've got a full full health, uh, energy bar. That's great. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. So we're predicting a wolf encounter imminently. Any minute now. Yeah, so the nine kilos out there is a great thing. Obviously, I wish I could have hauled it to the Quonset, but not possible. I'm gonna have to strip down and go at it with a much lighter load and bring it back, but it's there. And even if it goes down to zero quality, I can bring it back up to 50 cooking it. So it's, it's perma food. So yeah, we're, we're day 30 or so guys, maybe day 31. I have to check, but strategy now is consolidate prep. Uh, I need to, I need to find tons of wood. I need to find tons and tons of food and just stockpile it. So there will be a wolf encounter down here at the log sort, it's a guarantee. Uh, weather's looking a little nasty actually. Might get a second blizzard. I could bed down at the log sort if I had to for a little while. Although bed down, I mean, not really actually, I could uh, can't sleep right now. Well, I could sleep an hour, but it's just such nice weather. Like we don't want to lose this amazing part of the day. Pretty sure I've been to the log sort. I can't remember though. Maybe not. No, actually don't think I have. So there's a carcass here, which is kind of good. Oh, I'm carrying that deer hide with me, that extra deer hide, the raw one. As I walk here, I am expecting contact. I hear him. He's on the other side of those rocks, I think. There he is. There's lots of them around. I don't see you though. Hear you. There he is. Hey, big guy. Let's come for a little bit of a, a game here. Ah, oh, that was such a bad shot. And I lost the arrow. Damn. <laughs> Boom. Where, there it is. Okay, that was a relief. Um, tell you what, guys, because I need it so bad. That's where we're at. I feel like I hear something. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Definitely heard something, guys. I was just snow falling or what?
Okay, so it's definitely messing with me a bit, the weather. It wants to block me. There's malice of forethought here. Made it up onto this little pathway. And okay, we could have a bear encounter, so not ready for that at all. I would not be above using a flare shell on him. Okay, oh, there's those little houses over there. So we're still a long way from Quonset. This is a huge map. It's just like such a long trek. Um, and now I'm wishing I have my liter of non-potable water. So those nine kilos are a long way away. But I had no choice, you know, I just couldn't, couldn't take them. And I left a wolf back there unharvested, you know. Could have harvested him actually, but getting to that kind of feeling of like overstaying my welcome a little bit, you know. And we got the water situation staring at us. Uh, I could drink something, reishi maybe. So we're closing in on it. Quonset's not too far from here. But yeah, guys, look, we're staring at a night. You know, again, um, I think part of the stress I'm feeling right now is the weight. Like I actually feel so immobile. I'm just dragging myself through here with all this stuff. It's just awful. And uh, would so love to be unloading all this at the concert right now. Wow, a nine kilogram deer, guys. Like, ah, oh, so good. Okay, so quick search. Hey, saltines, now that is a good find. Saltines are so desired at this point. Um, little bed there. Definitely not stopping for that. I could go for a pop right now. That would be a wonderful thing. But by saying it, I probably jinx it out. Check the next one. Yeah, so this is pretty thick weather and it's really hairy over there. It's towards the, uh, we're closing on the Quonset. I'm gonna have to fight my way through that whole raft of wolves on the way in. Books galore, but we can come back for them, I guess. Oh, pork and beans. I have to take it even though it's heavy. Okay, so, so be it, no pop. Uh, and the slog continues. But I will say, at least it's a warm slog. Yeah, there's a lot of like carrying going on because I've got all that gear up at um, the transition cave to Pleasant. Oh no, to um, yeah, transition cave to Pleasant Valley. I've got a huge supply of kit, so it's just like oh, there's a whole nother slog ahead of me there. Um, so again, having those combat pants would have been a boon for sure, but it didn't happen. For oh dear. Uh, 
Uh, and I can hear the guys at Quonset just warming up for me. On the one hand, the bear is a great thing. Like, I love the bear, but... On the other hand, he's a block in my path. So we gotta go down by the lake. Good to know he's there though, like in the sense that he spawns there. Down to sub one stink. Dangerous move here. He'll take the high road, I'll take the low road. Jim just jump off the rock on my head. If it was an Aurora Bear, that might be possible. Looks like I'm going to be drinking a tea for water, so I can't eat any more meat. Thought I heard something. Be a little careful, because he might have doubled back on me here. That's right up the hill. I'm going to be drawing all these guys in. Weather's changing a touch. I don't actually know where that wolf is. Whenever I see that trailer there, I'm always a happy one because it's... Uh, close to home. Okay, up that hill. Not worried about him. Worried about the green party down here. Yeah, I'm really sorry I'm quiet right now because I'm utterly terrified. I'm about to go into a fight. And uh, I've got that fight or flight kind of adrenaline pumping right here. I can smell the hypothermia. But yeah, here we are, guys. Final approach before landing. So far, I don't see anybody here. Oh, I don't see anybody here. Saw a graphical artifact that made me think I was looking at a wolf. Was that a wolf? Right here? It's good to take this wide. There's definitely going to be wolves around here. A couple, at least. They haven't revealed themselves yet. So I'm bypassing all the um, the loot. Behind me. Oh. Strangely quiet. Whoa, guys. Okay. Oh, so there we are. Wow. All this gear is slowing me down. Okay, so let's... Um, I'm just going to clear these out so I can start my search process. 
and, and start my dumping process. So the first bin I like to do fire. So let's go drop all the matches. Actually drop drop the good matches. I don't know if this actually matters. Let's take we'll drop these things. Twelve matches should thirteen matches should be enough to get us going. Okay, we've got a great amount of coal. Okay, and actually Um Okay, before I figure out what's happening, let's I'm just gonna drink one of these just to to get the water situation. Oh, there's water in the basin. Why did I do that? Uh Okay, well, at least I didn't waste the calories there. Oh, and there's our there's our lantern, guys. Yes. Okay. Boom. Carry those four liters of fuel all the way here. But it was rewarded. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, all that coal. So this is my fuel locker over here. So let's drop the fuel. Take a few back, take a few back. Okay, um, accelerant. Okay, that right away is starting to feel better. Okay, next drawer, let's do some cloth and stuff. Take enough to make a shelter. Let's drop anything that needs curing. Cured. Green, 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 green. Wow. Yeah, we're really uh, well stocked for arrows, I would say. Let's get this thing going. Okay, well, I will break those down for supplies, although we're going to make our, hopefully make our mitts pretty soon. So the imperative right now is to get food. So let's drop anything that's cured. Let's drop cured, 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 cured. Pretty good supply of guts. Fresh, 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 cured. Now let's drop the fresh stuff over here. It's getting dark in here already. And, uh, and we'll get the um, all our arrowheads and stuff dropped off. Where are they? Thirty-one arrowheads and uh, a bunch of a bunch of feathers, birch. Okay, that's feeling a lot better. Twenty-four kilos, guys. And I don't even know if I'm gonna bother searching this place just right now. I might go try to find myself a wolf. Because, you know, um, let's drop our, um, and let's actually drop the pot. Don't wanna walk around with that thing. I think I might even drop the hatchet. Was I gonna do? I was going to drop some of the reishis. Right. So we don't need all of these. But we don't have that many. Still, um, okay, let's do that. Come back for more, drop one of those. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We're getting down to a pretty, um, pretty tight kit here. What? Oh, is it non-potable that comes out of that? Wow, I didn't realize that, guys. I think I was saying that to somebody that it should be non-potable. That's so cool. Wow, I'm really impressed by that. I, I, I'm so happy to see that. I Let's see what the toilet water is. Toilet water is always drinkable, right? But um, two liters, guys. Yeah, I'm not even searching. Like I'm just, I'm going right back out the door. Because we need to deal with the food situation now. Okay. Oh, I've got a little piece on me. That's good. And I dropped a full piece. Okay, excellent. Let's get some wolves going. Let um, me get it, boys. Okay. If the wolves aren't coming... I'm doing a stick run, and I'm going to go look for a deer. Is 
It's so bumpy around here. It is a wolf trap. Quonset was and always has been and always will be a wolf trap. But the logic I've got right now is that given that food is going to kill me eventually, well, maybe cold might kill me, but food is very likely to kill me. Lack thereof. I um, I want the wolves. Boy, quite quiet, guys. The other thing I want to check real quick is these fishing huts. Yeah, no deer. Ugh. So I guess what I'm going to do is circle around the rabbit island. And see about getting a couple rabbits. I really have to do something about food. It's not like I can play with this. Like, I have to do something about food for tonight. I could go back for my 9 kilos. Um, I should really be luring that bear in, but I don't have enough. Um, what's that? Oh, hey. Very welcome. So part of this run is also going to be to raid the local um, pre-war food stashes. So we're going to go for the... I uh, guess I'll go for a jackrabbit. No wolves, guys. Look at this. Yeah, so we need stink now. Like, I need stink. Yeah, so it's a nice time of day. Like, this is a perfect time of day. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to Jackrabbits. I'm going to try to take a couple of rabbits. So at least we have something. And we may end up starving tonight. We'll have to see. Like it's it's due to be a really long night. But yeah, isn't it weird not seeing wolves out on the lake? Like that's what I'm saying, guys. We're only day thirty or so. Thirty-one, and like it's getting scarce. You know, um, that other playthrough I had where I died at day fifty, it was extremely scarce. Like one animal per day sighting. Okay, there's a wolf. Thank the Lord. Never thought I'd say that, but there's a bunch of carcasses around, so that's good. Uh, I'll work with that. Oh, hey, I'll take that. I'll take that too. That's good. I will not take that. But I clicked it by accident. Okay. Well, firewood is firewood. I mean, so the good thing about finding that wolf here is that, okay, there's a couple more. So how badly do I want to get wolf? I'd rather get uh, deered, frankly. I think what I'm going to do is lure this guy back to the vicinity of misanthrope. Okay, now he smells me. Took him a sec, but... But yeah, that's a big radius. I've got a small piece of meat right now. And boom. Take him for a walk. Taking the dog for a walk. He's quick though, look at that. He's in his like hunt mode. It would be really neat to get a deer to, to run into him. That'd be really good. But I don't see any deer just yet. It's beautiful out. Oh, did I lose him? Come on, big guy. Don't don't lose the scent. There you go. Couldn't tell for a second if he was coming or going. Okay, so let's see what he does. There's a lot to do on this map. There's a lot to search, and uh, I'm not going to do much of that right now. Okay, so this thing's got a door, so that's interesting. This is like the cloth shed. Okay, here he is. He's aggressive, this guy. Okay, so we've got the rabbit, so I'm probably want to take this guy out before I move into the rabbit territory. 
Oh, potentially I could rub him off on a rabbit. That would be kind of interesting. But I think I'm going to try to shut him down. Although, see what he does with one of my arrows. But Did that just because... I broke the arrow too, eh? I don't know, now I feel bad about that, but... I think I'm gonna keep... Oh, there's another one over there. So let's deal with this guy here. Right in the face. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I know it's cold, but first thing I'm gonna do is take that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is take some of that. I'm gonna take a little more. a little more then before did I get my arrow yeah before I get too greedy okay fine I'm gonna take one gut okay I'm gonna take two guts I'm getting greedy guys full harvest We might take a little cold damage here, but let's go. I'm probably going to bring another one back with me. Um, there, that was a good harvest. Okay, there's another one. He's going to be coming. Three stink. And I'm going to try to bring him back into our fold. Bring them all back. Yeah, because it's going to come down to dog meat, guys. That's that's the situation. Um, he's on to some funny scent there, but it's going to come down to dog meat. And I'm actually considering uh, just getting parasites, you know, just leaning into it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I've never tried it before, like actively leaning into parasites, but I think I'm ready. I think I, I'm at that stage in my long dark experience where I want to use parasites actually to my advantage the power of the parasite look at that guy he went running off into the bushes fool oh well so I will say I in my other playthrough I came to Quonset as well and uh, okay I better keep going because I'm getting cold the, the the little house actually over here is better than Quonset a lot better it's um Okay, there's that carcass there too. So yeah, I should. Okay, that guy's a fool. He just wandered off. That's a dog that can't follow the scent. Um, yeah, this little house is warm. And the weird thing is there's some bug probably just in this version or maybe it's mod related. Can't really speak to it, but that uh, makes it so that it's light in there all night. And not light in the sense that the game knows it's dark, but you can still see. So you can't do anything, but you can still see. Now, the other amazing thing about this house, well, A, it's got two doors. It's got two doors. It's warmer than Quonset. It's got a fire pit, you know, like these things are going to stack up and you'll see how awesome this place is. So I might as well just leave this stuff to, to cure here. Uh, I'll take it back with me, I guess, but I may actually spend an hour here. Let's just see. Um, searching, warming up slash searching. And I want to get back over. I think we're spending the night tonight at Quonset. But the thing what you can do is before you start the fire quonset, in the middle of the night, you can dash over here. 
and start your fire here. In fact, I should probably be stashing my wood here because ultimately the end of the night fire you want to have, probably best to have it here. Although, on the other hand, um, if you have it over at Quonset, you can do crafting. So if you're still doing crafting, Quonset's probably the, the place to be. But if you are just in the sort of endurance mode, which we're going to get to eventually, um, it's probably better to be here because you can stay a little bit later. Oh, lantern fuel, that's good. Stay a little bit later without starting a fire. And uh, you just can't craft here, but you could do all your clothing repairs and stuff. It would be a good place to shack up for a night of clothing repair or a day of clothing repair. The one thing I haven't seen here is whether or not you get a situation where the light, uh, the moonlight comes in, you know. That's sort of the like, I've been told, or, oh, look at that, eh? 16% uh, sardines, we're doing those tonight. But look at that, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, 15 percenters. I'm gonna repair those right now because those look like they wanna go on me. Let's put, let's put one into it. Add to another, just while we warm up. That's amazing. Nobody said that I had to have a second set of long undies, and I, I just feel amazing that I got that. That's so good. Not that it really does that much, but it just makes one happy. Just doing a little bit of this to warm up and take the cloth. Okay, so let's head back. Uh, this oh, and just do a time check. Oops, I think we're coming up to the hour mark pretty soon, guys. Very very soon. So we're gonna probably kind of call this. Um, it's been a darn good day. Like wow. And so yeah, I think I stripped this place. Let's head out. Let's try not to get dogged on our way home. Oh, whoops. How did I? Oh, I stank already? I must not have dropped something. Let's take our, our stuff back. I'm going to keep the curing station over at the other place. Okay, and we're going to go the long way. Uh, actually, now that I'm over here. Okay, that piece of... That carcass is a target for me. I'm not super confident about this route. But hey, looks like it's going to work out. I like to stay wide. Boy, it's really nice out. Oh wow, look at that. We might get a magfire out of this. I don't even know if we deserve that. So yeah, one of the key things to keep doing around here is to do stick runs like crazy. This is an amazing, amazing stick spawn area. Legendary, because there's spawn around here, but there's also spawn up the hill. So I'm sitting out here, really hoping to encourage that bear to come down. I I just heard something. Let's see if we can get a magpie out of this. Whoa. Huge. Yes, we can, guys. So this has really worked out well. I think what we're going to do is we'll start this. I'm going to put my water on, and then we'll um, call it a day. And we will run this outside because the weather's nice and I can possibly lure some animals in. Um, 
I don't really need water immediately, but I do need, um, I need food though. We're definitely taking our, um, our parasite risk, like in spades, I'm, I'm taking it. 55, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, let's just go drop some stuff off and we'll call it an episode. I think we've definitely uh, done about an hour or so. So, second wolf hide, good news. Couple of guts. Let's drop these, the gut pile will be over here. And let's, um, this is the cloth bin, so let's drop the extra gloves. And attempting to do water. But we do have three liters. It's not a lot, but um, anyway, let's do a save and I'll call it an episode and we'll, we'll start up next time. Okay, our, all right, beautiful. Okay guys, let's call it an episode. Okay, there's guys, end of episode. I think this is episode 19. So thanks a lot for watching. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you tomorrow.